tonight, a body in a car has been found in the Ohio River in Saline Township. My approximation is there's 115,000 veterans who have died by their own hands. The news at the bottom of the hour, suicide rates among military personnel and veterans are climbing to new highs. That Charles Chuck Fluharty. He's from East Liverpool and was reported missing seven years ago. He was actually amputated at one leg. He was getting ready to lose his other leg, told his care worker that he could disappear and no one would find him. Right now, I don't feel right leaving town when I feel like we're so close to finding Charles. There's a car right there. I think. Oh, there's two or three cars there, maybe. Hold on. I had come up again. Like it just popped up and then I was turning at the same time. Right unless, unless it happens to be like the way those rocks come in. But it looked like on my scope. Yeah. Just let me come over and grab right side there on that cliff. Yeah, um, Greg said that there's a road right up there. Yeah. All right, that's a rock, that's a rock. It could just be these big rocks the way they come in here. But it's gonna be where that rock shelf is at right over there. And it really surprised me we actually don't have anything in there. Oh, we might have something right there. That? Yep. No, I think it's a car though. I think it's like part of an old bridge that was here. Yeah, old bridge support, I believe. Yeah, another car. Yeah, now we're getting up to uh, four feet again right here. So it's four feet here, six feet here. Mm -hmm. It's a little slope drops off right here. Yeah. Hey, Jared. Yeah. Gina called me. Oh, uh, yeah. I told him that the reason that Marge hasn't been answering our phone calls, she thinks you're a scam. She thinks I'm a scam. She thinks you're a scam. Huh. Well, she texted me this morning. Did she? Yeah. What did she say? So she, she said, said uh, my sister will be contacting Officer Smith today. I am not living in, in Ohio. She is. Thanks. Yeah, that's, I'm surprised she even said that because I guess Gina talked to her and she she was like, this is just a, this is all just a scam. This isn't even real. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> um, she did tell me one thing. She got a hold of um, Judy Martinez. She used to be a caretaker of um, Chuck's too. Uh -huh. And she's saying that he would make mention of um, some stripper cut on Route 39, which Highland Town Lake is on Route 39 or off Route 39. Uh -huh. um, we were, Sherry and I were just looking at the map and there are some other bodies of water down below that, but it doesn't look like you could ever access them with the car. Okay. So maybe when we have a little bit better cell service, we could look at that. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm having a hard time pulling my map up down here. It's not one to load. All right. Yeah, we'll head up to the lake now and <coughs> go uh, put some ice on that today. Okay. Yeah, we're at the boat ramp. We're getting ready to leave the boat ramp right now. All right, well, I'll be sitting right here waiting on you. All right, sounds good. All right. You know, where he used to be an officer, but, you know, here we are seven years later, right? Seven? Yeah. And he's not let this go. Like, this yeah. is like this is for him. This is that one that, like, got away. Like, I have to solve this one. Right. right. And, you know, he's on his day off. His wife is with us on her day off. Like, this is what they're doing for their week off, is taking the time 
yeah. to see if yeah. they can solve this with us. Yeah. Was an amputee, was in the process of becoming a double amputee, he left with his car, threatened to do this kind of thing, and it just nothing, no trace of him, no trace of the car, nothing since. Shallow right there, all the way out. Anywhere near here is shallow. But is it shallow near that boat ramp? Is that the in other end of it right there? Like how, how long is this lake actually? Um, you're almost looking at it. It's, it's a little longer than what you're seeing here. Okay, so, so really, I mean, if we put the boat in here, we can cover the entire lake. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, because it gets pretty narrow up there, and then I, I don't think there's any access points up that way. He, he, he's most likely going to be the right tip there. there is. Yeah, yeah over there, there on the right. Is. Yeah, you have that. Yeah, but technically, he can easily get around that and drop anywhere in here if he wanted to. But then if you look like where that little boat is coming out right now, uh -huh. that's that other little cove right here. And on that cove, you have two additional access points here one is a boat ramp right here the other one is if you just wanted to like whoop, just go straight in off. fact that's that's the old boat ramp that you could still make your way around right there yeah but could you still go straight yeah you could go either way. yeah i mean you yeah. can that entire area because you have that road that goes all the way around it mm -hmm. and then on the other side here this is like a little i mean like you would have to fight to get down here but you also have this little service road sandy surface room yeah or gravel but again I mean it's one of those things like hey you know I know the area I've been up to the lake I used to party here as a kid you know so you know about it so this is one of his favorite spots to go to yeah, yeah. whenever he was in pain and hurting yep. it's the new information me, that he would come here and sit for hours if he was feeling down okay all right well, let's put uh, three boats in the water and let's go uh, scan Clarity is pretty decent too, so yeah. that's good. Yeah, not bad at all. She's, like, well, she's coming out here because the family still told her that they don't believe they don't believe any of this. So <laughs> we can shoot her a quick, quick video. In fact, here I'll just send I'll just send Marge a quick little video. They, they don't believe that we're here. Yep. Yeah. They think it's some sort of scam. Yeah. Hey Marge, thank you for uh, sending that information over to your sister. I hope that uh, she's able to get a hold of us. We're also in touch with uh, Gina, uh, Charles's care worker. Uh, we're actually going to be pulling two of the uh, our boats out here. We're at Highland Town Lake um, as one of our last locations we're looking. So we've got two sonar boats here. We've got another boat here. And we're currently at the lake right here with uh, the original detective that was on the case. So uh, I don't know if you ever met. Did you two ever meet? So yeah, doc, uh, Detective Greg Smith. So anyway, uh, fingers crossed, we're gonna do everything we can to get you answers today. Uh, as I did mention, we did find nine vehicles yesterday down in the Ohio River and a boat. We dove on each one of them. We're trying for you, we're doing everything we can. So hopefully we can get you answers today. Uh, give me a call if you have any questions and more than happy to answer them for you. All right, thanks, bye. I seen I had a message and it was from him mm -hmm. and I, um, it was really, really muffled, and but I heard him say something about leaving something on the table for me, and you know, so I didn't really think nothing about it. I erased it, you know, and because I figured I was going to see him. I think it was Tuesday. Yeah. And then my mom lives in the same building. He lives on the fourth floor. My mom lives on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And I went there, you know, Monday morning. I didn't see his car. Tuesday morning. I didn't see his car. So I kept trying to call him. And then I called my office because there were several nurses there that knew him that were actual friends of his in the family. Yeah. And I talked and I spoke to the one and uh, she's and I told her I said I haven't seen his car. I said I've called every hospital in this area. I called um, Steubenville, Weirton, Pittsburgh, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Nobody had him. And uh, then she said, Well, we'll see when our our nurse goes there today for his wound care. And uh, yeah, it, it just then the nurse didn't get him, and and then he never he never showed up for that no, time, right? No, 
Okay. Nothing. And, and 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 so where we're at right now, what what significance does this have with Charles? Like, wh wh what ties does he have to this place? Here? I guess this is what this was uh, his. I don't know. It just I knew his friend that I spoke to this morning said if he had any problems, he'd come here. He'd come here. Yeah. He okay. he said he didn't know of any other way, any other place he would go, but here. Okay. And and uh, he'd sit up here for hours and hours and hours. I mean, I did see his car. I used to help him like put oil in it or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, he was just my buddy. Well, I'm sorry that, you know, that this is happening, but uh, ho hopefully we're able to bring some answers to you today. I, I hope so, because his family doesn't believe this is true. Right, right. So. What we were able to digest from the caretaker right now is that he went into great detail to plan this. He planned where all of his belongings would go before he left. He left multiple people messages in a, in a, in a way of basically telling them what to do, where they can find things. So this this is a, a, a very well planned for him. This wasn't something that he just decided to do. He, he took at least a day or two, possibly longer, to plan this. Um, and, and we're here. I, I, I feel as though that this is where we're gonna find Chuck. He's, if he's in here, he's not going anywhere. He's not covered up. The car's completely exposed. It is fresh. He's in there. He's not out of it. This is best case scenario as far as we're concerned with finding a vehicle. It's, it's a lake. There's no current. Even though there's a lot of spots, it's like yeah. you know, you're not getting caught. It's in just there. weird shaped. Yeah. Even though the, you know you're not getting caught in a lot of those spots. Hello, my name is Jacob Grubbs. I am from the Chaos Divers. This is Lindsay. She's my assistant and camera woman. Yesterday we were unable to locate him. We did dive on nine different vehicles. We did not find Charles. So today we are with AWP again. The reason why we're here is Charles frequently visited this when he had a lot of stuff on his mind when he was you know overwhelmed he came out here for hours i'm hoping for the best and he is in here if not we'll know where he's not let's go try to find charles guys You already have a car. Hold on. We have a body. I put sonar in the hard one, but anything's impossible. I see some uh, bushes on the left. Oh, uh, right, right below me. Something right here. Dead center of it. I see something right there. I can't make out what it is though. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're right, we're right over it. Yeah, Faint, we, yeah, faintly. Yeah, I we have something, something on sonar here. I just don't know what it is. In fact, you, you can take a look on the sonar here. But I mean, yeah, I mean, if it's like tied off to the, to the bottom though. So it's going to come up on this monitor here, is what we're going to bring it up on. Getting too far over to the left. No, there it is. Right there. Mm. It's five feet underwater. You have fish swimming around it. I mean, it's, it's right below us. Mm -hmm. Total depth is uh, 10 feet. I'd be curious if you touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. I'm just going to go down there and lay eyes on it to make sure. I have one fin, but you're all right. I guess uh, I'll get another fin. Right 
there behind that boat. It's three it's feet. Over. It's three feet underwater right here, right by Greg. I can see something right there, Sid. I was standing there. That's like more like eight feet. There's something right here. I see Greg can see it right here. Oh, there it is, right there. You can see it right here. I just don't know what it is. Right here. You see it again? Yep. <coughs> it's right here where I'm pointing. I'm not sure what it is, but... Frog eggs. What is it? The big bundle of frog eggs. We had these in the south okay. and in the in the in the east. They're big, huge frog sacks. Okay. So I can see what you're saying, but straight straight to it, seen it. All right, sounds good. Good news. Okay. Yeah, it's similar to uh, squid sacks. Then they, they they form in a huge, almost like. What you would uh, think would be, it's a huge circle. It's about as big as those buoys. Yeah. And they're just eggs. It definitely didn't look right. All right, well, we're going to start scanning. Yeah, we're at 15 feet here. I never would have guessed this was as steep. Oh, that's right. We were talking last night and we were thinking it was only five to six. Yep. So that road goes all the way around or across it. And then we have the boat ramps as well. Yeah, you pretty much figure that right in here you'd see a car, so. You're about right in the sweet spot, huh? Yeah, we're at 20 feet deep right here. have this little uh, side dirt road here. And this is where that old boat ramp is at right here. It goes down. And we get down to two feet here. Coming off that point there. Yeah, see that's what it is. Big pilings down here. That's what we're seeing. Yeah, let me hold that. Okay. Fix this up. There are no other leads. Not really sure where where we could go next. Yeah. Hey, so Greg, I mean that puts us into nine in Ohio plus the boat, second day of searching. We didn't give up, but now that we feel like we've really conquered like every area that we can search that makes sense, I don't know if we can put forth any more effort into this one without having more clues. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one and see if we can come up with a few more, you know, good places we can check. Um, we won't give up. We'll. Uh, We'll keep trying and uh, I guess I'll go back to the drawing board and come up with some more places.